This is Torpedo Your Balls, written by Aki Wyckoff, illustrated by Aki Wyckoff, designed by Aki Wyckoff, also written partially by Levon Jihanyan, read by Crystal. Chapter 1 Torpedo Your Balls Introduction Torpedo Your Balls didn't just backstroke its way onto paper. It is, in fact, the result of hours of chlorinated paranoia, sideways looks from concerned strangers, and pool times cut short for dozens of confused children. No other pool time game is as unignorable, so outwardly detested, and so secretly admired. A champion of Torpedo Your Balls is a champion of life. Get ready to ruin pool time forever. This game is not only fun, it is also very aerobic. Men between the ages of 18 to 30 burn, on average, 342 calories in an hour doing this proven method of weight loss. Nothing makes you move faster than the threat of someone touching your balls. The object of the game. The object of the game is simple. Torpedo the scrotums of your opponents while protecting your own scrotum from being torpedoed. The game ends when only one untorpedoed contestant remains in the pool. A torpedo is when someone launches underwater with their hands in a fist, facing forward. No hand paddling is allowed. You must use the power from your launch to propel you forward. There are many different methods of legal torpedoes, but we will get to that later. Rules Number one. The game begins with at least two contestants in the swimming pool. Any one of the players must announce, Torpedo your balls! so that everyone in the pool can hear it. Sneak attacks prior to the announcement of the game leads to disqualification, or at the discretion of the other players, a penalty shot. See below. Number two. A valid torpedo must be executed under the following conditions. A. Both hands of the attacker must be interlocking. B. Both elbows of the attacker must be straight and unbending. C. Arms, hands, and head must be beneath the surface of the water. D. No punching. This means that the force of the torpedo must originate from full body momentum, not from the bending of wrists, elbows, or shoulders. Punching a ball is not a legitimate torpedo and will result in a penalty shot upon the attacker. E. No grabbing at any time. This is even if you are not the attacker. You may not restrain, pin, sandwich, or otherwise inhibit the movement of any challenger, neither in offense nor in defense. F. No kicking. The exception being for regular swimming purposes. This is left to the discretion of the referee. G. Full contact must be made by the attacker's hands upon the defender's balls, or rather the scrotal area covered by regulation swimming trousers. H. Upon a successful torpedo, the defender must immediately announce whether they choose to remain in the game. Stating, I'm out, immediately removes that player from the game. They are not to be torpedoed. But, at the same time, they cannot torpedo other players. If the player does not immediately say, I'm out, they are still valid targets and must continue the game, though they are no longer eligible for victory. The continuing defeated player must then wait for the next time they are successfully torpedoed in order to opt out of the game. Number three, a defender may block a torpedo in a number of ways, but the following conditions must apply. A. No punching. B. No grabbing, pinning, restraining, sandwiching, etc. C. No kicking. The exception being for regular swimming purposes. This is left to the discretion of the referee. Dodging is sometimes the only option. Number four. TYB is based on the last man standing model. The last player to remain in the pool who is untorpedoed is the winner. Number five. 
Upon certain rules violations, the referee must decide upon disqualification or a penalty shot. If there is no referee, then the other players must come to an agreement. If an agreement cannot be made, then the default choice is disqualification. Number six, a penalty shot suspends the game temporarily and all torpedoes are invalid, save for the penalty shot. The offending player stands five yards from the edge of the pool. The violated party gets a free shot, but they must push off the wall and cannot propel themselves with any kicks. If the offending party is successfully torpedoed, he is no longer eligible for victory. Number seven, no white t-shirts. Sorry fatties, you got a man up or shape up. Nothing slows you down more than a white cotton t-shirt. And who are you kidding anyway? We can still see your jelly rolls and nipples through that bad boy. Number eight, stay alive. Nothing ruins a perfectly good pool game more than a wet ambulance ride in your bathing suit. Number nine, no scuba and or snorkel gear allowed. We all thought about buying some extreme underwater gear to tip the tides in our favor. Not only is that unfair to other players, but that stuff is really hard to put on. Plus, in a wetsuit, you couldn't feel a shark touch your balls, let alone a man hand. Number 10. No getting out of the pool or diving. This isn't Marco Polo, and there are no fish out of water. If you have to pee, you must hold it and under no circumstances may you urinate on another person or persons. Number 11. No part of the torpedoist's body may enter inside a target's orifice. Number 12. Handcuffing of one's own junk is forbidden for active players. On the other hand, no pun intended, this action is a good way for players that have previously been torpedoed to indicate that they are out of the game and are eagerly awaiting the next round. Number 13. No hard-ons. This has never actually happened in the history of Torpedo Your Balls, and never will. But the question has come up once or twice. In the rare and improbable circumstance where one player gets aroused by someone torpedoing his nethers, both players are disqualified from victory as they are clearly playing Tickle Your Balls. Technique. Offense. The classic torpedo. Both hands are interlocked, forming a ball, or alternately, one hand covering the other hand in a fist. This is the most common form of torpedo because of its versatility. The hammer. Fists facing forward, touching at the thumbs. This form offers a greater chance of a hit at close quarters, but hinders effective torpedo distance at longer ranges. The Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet, underwater. This move makes you feel like a hero. Instead of interlocking your hands, just make sure one is forward and the other is by your side, like a sidekick. The Sleeper. The torpedoist slips under the water and launches off a wall silently toward its target. The dolphin. Hands are in a prayer or fin-like formation. This form is more effective for long-range torpedoes. The tickler. Like the hammer, but with the two index fingers extended forward for that little bit of extra reach. Watch out for the no penetration rule. The depth charge. Similar to the sleeper, but the torpedo sinks to the bottom of the pool and launches up toward its target. The free willy. Sometimes a new player comes in the middle of a match and sits at the edge of the pool, getting acclimated to the water's temperature. You can use the depth charge attack to launch out of the water and hit the dry privates of the unsuspecting player. The rainbow. This move only works in the shallow water, unless you're over eight feet tall. While standing, boost off the floor, out of the water, then back under to tag the bag. You must be completely underwater at the point of impact in order for this move to count. But it is a great trick for close range combat. Note, this move looks particularly good while wearing a rainbow cape. The Civil Union. Torpedo toward the victim from behind. Reach between the victim's legs with your fists bent upward toward the targeted sack. The Alliance. This move requires the trust of another player. 
Both players interlock one of their hands with the others, freeing up one hand each for steering. If successful, both players get credit for the hit. The Super Alliance. Like the regular alliance, except you interlock all four hands together, making a super ball. And while you project forward, you both spin clockwise. Counterclockwise if you live in Australia. This truly is a weapon of mass destruction. The team lift. This is when you use the knee of a buddy or stranger to torpedo off someone. This trick is great for middle of the pool excursions. The tea bag. This move must be approved before the game begins. This is a fistless torpedo. Simply place your hands firm on your side and blindly use your forehead to smash against the wet bags of your opponent. The strange feeling you get when you feel a man's sack pressing ever so gently on your face is quickly replaced by the sheer exhilaration of sending someone out. The fuck you, I'm awesome. This is the ultimate move that cannot be topped by anything. Do a standard torpedo from any wall towards the shallow water. It is important to make sure everyone sees you coming. Right around three feet away from your target, tuck your body in a ball and proceed to execute an underwater somersault. When your feet are perpendicular to the floor, finish your amazed victim off with the rainbow. I have only seen this happen once, and I still have nightmares. Defense. The tuck. Exactly how it sounds. Quick and versatile, but leaves one open to civil union. The rock. When you combine the tuck with a backwards hand blocking, you turn yourself into a torpedo-proof ball of invincibility. You also lose the ability to float above the surface of the water. This move makes for an excellent setup for the depth charge maneuver. Distraction. Making a lot of noise or redirecting attention is a great way to assist others in torping, along with keeping yourself safe. The lazy fat cat. This defense is when you float on your back with your legs flung over the edge of the pool, like a sideways chair. This is a blind defense, but effective. Retribution. Using a failed torpedo's temporary confused state to stage a counter torpedo often leads to a lover spat. See below. Taunts. The Travis Ball. The player stands in the swimming pool, legs spread wide. This is a taunt meant to invite players to make a hasty and costly attempt at torpedo, or simply to lower the morale of other players. An important psychological tool if your strategy is attrition. The Gyno. Another taunt where the legs are spread apart and lifted up to the level of one's own chest. Applied with a side-to-side -side movement, this is a devastating maneuver. The blind man. This is done in the shallow end of the pool. You cover your eyes and gyrate your hips back and forth with a powerful pelvic thrust. The gymnast. Place both feet in the splits position against the edge of the pool, exposing your bits and pieces. If you can do this taunt, you're probably wasting your talents and should be in the Olympics instead of playing this highly sought after and medically proven form of exercise. Other terminology. Lover spat. When two players become embroiled in repeated retribution attempts. Threesome. A third party uses a lover spat to torpedo one of those players off guard. Hernia exam. Another way of saying your balls just got torpedoed, or you could simply turn and cough. Prop 8. This is when someone tries to get you with the civil union, but you manage to thwart their plan while quoting the Book of Mormon. Hop-ons. This is when random spectators join in the game without knowing any of the rules, or what retribution awaits them. What a great way to rack up some points and meet new people. Prom night. A torpedo attack which does not end even after a block. The attacker continues to drive forward in hopes that the blocker will unwittingly let their guard down. Frequently asked questions. Question. Is torpedo your balls homosexual? Answer. No. 
Question, is torpedo your balls homophobic? Answer, no. Question, can girls play TYB? Answer, no. Question, isn't this game sort of immature, unsafe, and potentially deadly? Answer, no. Final word. Now you know how to play this innovative, fun, and cheerful game. You learn the offense, the defense, the patented moves. You are now ready to seize the day, take what is yours, and completely dominate the sperm storage of your close peers in an aquatic setting. Remember, Torpedo Your Balls is not about injuring people. It's about respect, loyalty, fitness, finesse, and stamina. And finally, be careful not to play in winter months. Nothing will frustrate you more than unnecessary shrinkage. This has been Torpedo Your Balls, written by Aki Wyckoff, illustrated by Aki Wyckoff, designed by Aki Wyckoff, also written partially by Levon Jihanyan, read by